This island boasts an abundance of good things to eat. And for 93 years, it's been home to this amazing woman. She's a force of nature, making best use of everything nature has to offer. Let's look through the kitchen window and follow her story. Tokunoshima is a small island with a warm climate. It's 1,300 kilometers southwest of Tokyo and not far from Okinawa. About 20,000 people live here, and they live well. The average lifespan is long, and the fertility rate is high. Tokunoshima is known as a place of longevity, blessed with children. Mizumoto Mieko is living proof that you're never too old to try something new. She was in her early 70s when she opened a restaurant. Help comes from her daughter, 68-year-old Ikuyo. Mieko gathered the seaweed from the shore. Yes, she's 93. But that doesn't stop her from sourcing ingredients herself. あの、パワーなんだろう、本当に。きっと、あの、全然やってることが苦ではなくて本人が一番楽しいじゃないんですかね。ああいう年の取り方をしたいなとは思いますね。ミエコ <笑> specialties include deep fried fish and tempura made with wild plants. She also makes tonsoku, or pig's feet. You won't find many of her dishes elsewhere. She only accepts one group a day, and oftentimes they come from other parts of Japan. <laughs> いや、そう Mieko likes to keep herself busy. Right from morning, you'll find her in the garden. The island's climate is perfect for growing all kinds of fruit and veg all year round.
The winds are picking up, and Mieko is heading to a cape. This is a type of hog's fennel, part of the parsley family. It grows wild, and the locals say eating one bunch adds an extra day to your life. Even on remote islands, companionship can flourish. Mieko cherishes the time she spends with her husband, Shunkichi. He's the grand old age of 100. <laughs> They've been married for more than 70 years. When seawater gets trapped in coral reef pools, Mieko's 71 year old son, Ryutaro, gets to work. He seizes the moment when there's a week long dry spell. Splashing seawater on sun scorched rock causes evaporation. And the concentration of salt increases in what remains. For Mieko, the work is filled with nostalgia. Her parents would make salt this way right on the same shore. This method had all but disappeared at one point. But Mieko revived production in her 70s. Mieko has passed the salt making business on to Ryutaro. 
Not all of the process takes place by the sea. The work is pretty physical and steamy. Ryutaro spends a whole day boiling down the seawater. A week of drying in the shade refines the taste. しょっぱいだけじゃなくて、旨味とか甘味とかね、そういう味がある。昔僕らは小さい頃、この塩で育ったからね、よくわかるんだけども、そういうの懐かしい味がね、こう今自分で作ってみて味見するとね、それが有名